All right, how's it going guys? Boss here and it's time for some Lumber Loon Freeze. So I think the last time I made a video on this deck has been at least a couple months or so and I decided I would make a video on it because this deck doesn't have any champions on it and it seems like it's a pretty popular deck overall across the board. I mean on mid ladder, you know, a lot of people are very aware of this deck. Some people hate playing against it, but I guess today I'm going to teach you guys, you know, how to play it. I feel like it's a fairly easy deck to play, but there's definitely some things, you know, you want to be aware of and you want to be pretty passive early on. You don't really want to go lumber loon first play of the game, which I know might seem like it's a good play, but it is really really risky. So I prefer using it with baby dragon instead of the electro dragon this meta just because there's a lot of lightning. So before we head into the first game if you guys would like to support me would really appreciate if you guys do use my critter code in any supercell game really would appreciate that does mean a lot but yeah we're at 7250 right now 710th in the world but we're going to try to push up even more let's head into the first game Okay, we found our first game here against Spring, so we can of course wait for him to make the starting play, with, especially with this type of cycle. I'm not going to go Inferno Drag or Balloon, Tornado, Freeze first play. That would be, I feel like, not very smart, and usually with Lumber Loon, you want to react to what your opponent does because it's a very, very passive deck. I mean, even though Lumber Loon, that combination is OP on offense, the defense of this deck is really strong. The Bowler... The Inferno Drag and even Defensive Freezes can be very, very good. But uh, just for the sake of like getting things started here, I'm just going to cycle Inferno Drag because that's the first game and I don't want to like, you know, keep you guys waiting forever. But just know that if I weren't like recording right now, I wouldn't have cycled an Inferno Drag. I would have been completely fine waiting for him to make the first play. But, you know, after a little while, it probably isn't too risky, you know, if I'm being honest. But all right, so he's going to go... For Baby Dragon, he also has Heal Spirit Bomber, so probably Golem, um, something along those lines. I don't know, really. I guess we can cycle Lumberjack and see how he responds to it. And if he if he's not going to do anything, I'm going to Balloon, because I have a feeling he was waiting to try to Tornado, but now... Oh, what? Misclick. Did you guys see that? I think what happened is he had the Tornado selected, but then what happened is... He wanted to drop his E-Drag, but, um, oh my god, we, we already took the whole tower. That's insane. Um, anyway, what, what happened was, is he was trying to wait and then tornado the Lumberjack, but he wasn't expecting the, um, the balloon, so he was trying to, like, okay, King activated, very good. That's gonna help us on defense right now. Freeze coming in, and there's no way this is going to take the tower. It's going to deal a lot of damage to it, but we're for sure going to save the tower. And of course, a great situation for us, because we took his tower, our tower stays alive, and even though it has only a little bit of health, I'm pretty confident we can defend, because I think he's using Golem, and we have great answers to the Golem. The Inferno Drag, the Bowler are very, very good against it, and I don't even know if he's going to be able to get a Golem push off at this point. It's going to be very tricky for him, and that E-Drag is just kind of going off into the other lane, although now it came back. But there we go, Tornado coming in to help out, and yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, I don't think he can do anything. I mean, another Inferno Drag coming in. So, yeah, this is this was just a great start to this game, to be honest. We got in a really good situation, and luckily he didn't end up taking our tower. I'm just pressuring right now so then he can't afford a golem and honestly this is i think a pretty good play because even if he um okay yeah i was gonna say like takes our tower we just got two hits on with the balloon on the other tower so yeah it, it's pretty much over at this point i i just wanted to be safe because i didn't want to like over defend and then he still takes my tower anyway i'm pretty sure we can go lumber loon in the pocket because his tornado is out of cycle at the moment he needs to play i think even one more card still but let's see uh, yeah, he's not back to it. That's gonna be GG. Pretty good matchup, I would say. Generally, this deck does pretty good against Golem. He wasn't even able to play the Golem the whole match because he knew if he did, I would just pressure him hard in the other lane. So yeah, it was just really awkward for him the whole time. Let's head into the uh, second match. All right, so we found our second game here. Uh, apparently, this guy has a YouTube too, and his clan name is Retire. So is he retiring soon? I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Uh, but Hog coming down, so Hog, um, okay, I guess that's a decent sign, because generally, I think, at least usually, I mean, I guess Hog Queen, of course, can still beat this deck just because the Queen is OP, but, 
Uh, okay, if he's doing that, I'm actually Lumber Looting in the opposite lane, because Musk is generally their only air counter. So with that in mind, I'm taking my chances here. Worst case scenario, he defends it, but he has to spend, like, a lot of Elixir. Um, sadly, I don't have... I don't know how I didn't have my Tornado in cycle, but we did get back to it, so we do get the King activated. Um, alright, I'm gonna have to take a Musk shot, because I am not over committing just to... Like, I am not spending four Elixir just to, like, just to prevent one Musketeer shot. That is not worth it. Especially in single Elixir, that, that just would not be the play. Alright, so, we can Inferno Drag into the Ice Golem, and then I guess set up a Bowler. So, some 2.6 players are actually using Earthquake instead of the Fireball, which would be very good if that's the case, because then he literally has only Musketeer as his only balloon counter. That and, I guess, the cannon is also, you know, a really solid counter as well, now that I think about it. But, you know, it's it's really the only direct counter, I guess that's what I'm saying. So, I, I am going to go ahead and balloon here, because we're going to have the Lumberjack helping out. Uh, it's, it's probably going to be a pretty easy defense for him, but, I mean, I think either way, it's, it's fine to apply some pressure just so he... Has to, you know, be spending Elixir on defense, can't focus on offense only, which he's obviously going to want to do, try to get as much damage as he can in, you know, single Elixir, because it's going to be more difficult in double and triple for him, because we're going to be able to, you know, keep up with his cycle easier, have Tornado in rotation for the Hog more often, or just stack things on defense, you know, like Bowlers, Inferno Drags. So yeah, um, he hasn't used his spell yet, I'm starting to think he has an Earthquake just based off of uh, how he's playing, and yeah, he is gonna have an Earthquake, so definitely, I would say a pretty good matchup for me, now that I know he's got Earthquake, because I feel like we can, it, it's pretty easy for us to break through, really nice Tornado, by the way, pulling that Musk into the other lane, um, so let's see what happens here, okay, he has to go Musk all the way, um, on the right, oh wow, yeah, he had to spend so much Elixir, that was crazy, I'm gonna freeze, I, I don't know if we're gonna, okay, nah, we're not, sadly, but we still forced him to Ice Golem, but yeah, that was unfortunate, I was really hoping we could get the Inferno Drag on the tower. Man, the cannons are putting in work, I have to say, like, I'm shocked we haven't gotten, I think we haven't gotten a single balloon hit yet, this is a great freeze though, we're able to hit the tower, the cannon, and the musk, Lumberjack coming in too, this is getting scary for him. And yeah, that's gonna be it. I don't know what that hog was. Alright, able to get the win. Really, really grateful he had the Earthquake and not the Fireball, because if he had Fireball, he would have had a way easier time defending that, and he might have even won. I mean, he probably would have, because the Earthquake does nothing in that matchup at all. Okay, so we're in our third game here. Uh, let's see what our starting hand's looking like. Uh, kind of interesting, two spells and then Inferno Drag Bowler. So yeah, kind of like the previous games, um, I'm just gonna wait a little bit just to see if this guy wants to do anything, and yeah, he is gonna, in fact, go for a Dark Prince, so we'll Bowler. Um, I don't yet know what this is, because a lot of decks have Dark- okay, Sparky. Well, hopefully he doesn't have E-Wiz, that's kind of my hope, and Sparky's kind of the one matchup where you kind of wish you had the Electro Drag, so that's kind of unfortunate that I don't, and I have, you know, Baby Drag, but uh, I, I guess we'll do our best here, let's just see what he wants to do. Um, okay, we're definitely gonna have to freeze this, but, uh, I, I don't know, guys, this is, like, not very good. At least the Sparky got really distracted there, but, yeah, I, I don't know, I, this is, I, I feel like without the Electro Drag, this is actually really challenging, but we'll do our best. I, I think I'm gonna take the damage from that Dark Prince, just because... I don't really want to cycle my tornado on it. I, I don't think it's a good play because I I'm worried he's gonna spam me if I do. I think I'm gonna balloon in the right lane. This will tell me if he has a mega minion or not. Because okay, he does. Some Sparky decks only have um, Ewiz as their only air counter, but he has mega minion, so that is even worse for me. Um, I was really hoping he didn't have mega minion, but yeah, now that I know he has mega minion and then he also has Ewiz for the Inferno Drag, I am not really at all liking this matchup. Uh, without the Electro Drag, this is like a really, really annoying deck to play against, but 
Um, we can obviously win. Uh, hopefully the Sparky gets taken out. Uh, okay, it does. I don't know why he didn't zap. Maybe he didn't have the elixir, but that is so good and might very well just cost him the game. I felt like that was a very aggressive push. So yeah, we're going in now. Um, let's go Bar Barrel 2. Can even go uh, Inferno Drag to help take out the... Uh... Oh no, Freeze came in late. That's so unfortunate. I think that's the second time this video I went for a Freeze uh, too late. But, you know, it, it happens. It's, it's obviously a high risk, high reward play sometimes. You know, you're not always going to get great freezes, but it really sucks when that happens, and you obviously wish you never dropped it in the first place, but, you know, it happens, but yeah, that, that four elixir would have been really useful to have on defense right there, but it's all right. Let's try not to, you know, worry about it too much. Uh, we're, we're, of course, very much in this game still. In fact, um, I, I think once we defend this, we're going to be in a, I think, like, pretty good situation. I, I'm just going to ignore the... Um, entirety of the Dark Prince, and we're gonna try to get a nice counter push going here. Definitely gonna go for a Balloon. Um, he's gonna Mega Minion, so maybe Tornado that away. And then Freeze if we get... Let's go! That should do it! Yes! There we go! Whew! Both my towers under 900 HP, but we got the job done. The freeze can come in clutch when you least expect it. Um, that's the amazing thing about, you know, Lumberloom Freeze. Um, yes, you know, the, of course, it can be difficult to get to the tower, but then sometimes when you do, it just takes one push. Just one good balloon freeze is all it takes, and you can, you know, just make really nice comebacks like that, or just, I don't know, have really great finishes. And, of course... I'm sure a lot of you guys know that because if you're losing to Lumberloon, yeah, and that's happened to me many times too, where like I lose when I'm like least expecting it and I have the game like under control. Yeah, it, <laughs> it's frustrating for the opponent, I imagine, but luckily I'm the one using it today. All right, so looks like it's going to be some sort of log bait deck. Not sure which one. Um, maybe it isn't even log bait, but because his clan says log baiter, I... I would be pretty stupid to not assume that it's log bait. Um, and this, uh, I don't know. I don't, log bait is pretty challenging. I'm, I'm not gonna, like, even try to deny that. Because the, the problem is, um, if, if he has Prince especially, this is, like, really hard. Because you don't have a good answer to the Prince, uh, yeah, alright, I'll try my best, but yeah, th this, and then the rocket too, oh boy, oh boy, oh no, I, I can't defend that, yeah, that, uh, I don't know, I, I don't know if I even want to bother showing this game, because I don't know if there's much you can learn from it, but I think I just will, uh, this will show you what a hard counter is, yeah, I mean, not really anything I can do, this is like, and I'm not lying, um, I truly think this is, like, one of probably the worst matchups, um, that you could get. Yeah, because you, yeah, you have Bar Barrel, but the problem is your Tornado doesn't get a lot of value in the matchup. They have, pretty much their whole deck counters the Balloon pretty well. You don't have a counter to the Prince. Um, Princess, you can't kill. Same with the Dark Goblin, you really have to, like, overcommit every time just to kill it, like, NATO it in, and then Bar Barrel. Uh, yeah, really hard matchup, so no shame in losing that. That is way worse than Logbait Tesla or Logbait Inferno because of the Prince, the Rascals, uh, really, really annoying cards to play against. So yeah, that's that'll show you, that's like what a hard counter is, basically. All right, so let's try to bounce back after that. Um, yeah, like I said, there, there's really not too much I, I could do um, in that type of matchup. So I'm sure those of you who run Lumberloon also hate playing against that deck. Because really, you, you have to just pray they make a mistake um, in that kind of matchup. And I knew, I, I don't normally give up, but I mean, it, it, I mean quite frankly, it was over. And I, I didn't want to like waste time. I Yeah, I knew that was it. Um, we could just Inferno Drag. Kind of 
Okay. Bar Barrel the tank for our Inferno Drag. Then we can Balloon. He's He has two options. Ignore what's in the left and just focus on offense or defend it. But then if he defends it, I don't know if he's... Okay, he just messed up. That Flying Machine, I don't know how it died. But the fact that it died makes this defense so much easier. Because imagine if that Flying Machine was in the other lane. I would have had to overcommit on top of it. That is so good. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. Um, okay, Inferno Drag comes in. We will have to overcommit defending here. I mean, we will have to Tornado with this, but overall, I'm completely fine with how, yeah, Single Elixir went here. We took his tower. We still have both of our towers up. Um, very good chance he'll take one of our towers, but at least we can get a head start on, you know, the two crown potentially. Maybe when he goes Lava in the back, that's when I'll send in, you know, a Lumber Loon and go in on offense. I think for now, just Barbell is fine. Um, he is going to Lava, so definitely going to Lumber Loon now. He's probably going to Tombstone, and there's no way this is going to take his tower, but I'm pretty confident that we'll at least be able to get a, a shot, maybe two if we're lucky. Yeah, the hit, the hit speed of the Balloon is pretty insane. So we're going to have to go Bowler here on top of this. Um, probably freeze. Uh, I did miss the baby drag, but I, I guess it's, I don't know if it's all right, actually. I, I think we will lose the tower. I, I didn't even bother defending it because I didn't want to overcommit. I, I feel like we would have for sure lost the, oh, nice. Perfect timing. That wasn't a prediction, but that was great that we ended up distracting the inferno drag makes things really helpful for us now that we don't have to worry about the inferno drag for like you know a second okay so tornado coming in um that should be gg yeah really nice win we got a little lucky because if that inferno drag stayed where it was at he would have had a really good chance of um you know taking the tower and then look at our king tower really low so yeah i i, I actually think that was a pretty good matchup for me so i would say like Pretty well played on his end for making it close. Um, that definitely was not a perfect game for me. The reason why I say that's a good matchup for me is because he doesn't have a reset to the Inferno Drag. Um, I mean, obviously, a lot of his cards can get a lot of value because I don't have a direct spell for them, like the Flying Machine and, well, I guess even his Inferno Drag, I have to freeze and, you know, but still um, pretty good for me and, you know, he made it close. So yeah, that was a great game. We'll uh, probably play one more game or maybe two if this next one's... Uh, really quick, but we'll see. Alright, so... Let's see here. We got Bar Barrel, Baby, and Balloon. Um... I think, yeah, you know, again, we can just wait. But if he's not... Okay, Bowler. So maybe a Mirror Match could be. But it could also be Graveyard. You know, there's lots of giant Graveyard with Bowler right now. Or even just Splash Yard with Freeze, right? Um... Okay, so Bat's coming in. I'm gonna have to freeze that. That's a really... Oh, wow. Um, I didn't think that freeze was a good play, but it looks like it's gonna end up working out because he decided a graveyard for whatever reason at, like, the same time. Now, I don't know if this balloon is a very good play, but his Bats are out of cycle and his Mega Minion. So, I feel like it's a pretty good play. I don't know. Do we just... Uh, what? I was not expecting those barbs other lane. Wow. So he's gonna take our tower, no doubt. Uh, freezing would be pointless, because if I froze... Um, I think he's gonna play bats. I'm gonna predict them. I guess that wasn't a prediction, because I did it after, but... Um, okay. Death damage from a balloon takes his tower, so we should be probably okay in terms of like, taking the right tower, but, yeah, we're not in an amazing situation right now. So, let's see what we can do here. Maybe I go Lumber Loon in the opposite lane. If he plays something else in front of that bowler, that would be great, and I'm definitely going to. I think I'm just gonna do it. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, and then maybe Freeze even, because he doesn't seem like he has a lot of air counters. So yeah, I'm going to freeze. He probably will take our tower or have a very good chance of taking it, but 
Um, that was a good tornado, though, at least. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, we will be able to save our... Well, like, I mean, we saved the tower, but... It's like, did I really? Because it's basically dead. I don't know. Well, um... Lumberjack... I feel like this is GG. That freeze though. Oh! Oh my gosh, there's no way. Ooh, that's crazy. All right. Well, I think, I don't know about you guys, but I think we're going to end off of that one. Uh, that was just a great game to end off of. Whew, I did not expect to win that. All right. Make sure life if you guys did end up enjoying it. Um, That, that, that game, I was so convinced I was going to lose. Um... I got like all quiet like focusing and man what an ending um i think he might have even had the zapping cycle but he just got it down like a tenth of a second too late i don't know and it didn't come down in time um but yeah subscribe if you guys aren't subscribed already that that last game was just crazy um so those of you who stuck to the end of the video i guess you guys got to enjoy that that was insane all right thanks again until next time guys